Hello, my name is Roger, and I would like to try and explain how a gravely high-low planetary works. This is a complete planetary assembly. It has the rear cup, the clutch cup, pin plate assembly, there's a ring gear in there, and two clutch sliding pins. I'm going to turn the parts inside with a engine drive pinion shaft. I'll put it in this drive pinion bushing and we'll put that on that. I'll use a drive pin, a pinion shaft plus a dog gear and a little degree wheel. First, let's take a look and how the main part goes together. I'm going to start with a pin plate pretty stripped down. But it already has a bushing in it. When you put two parts together, a bushing and a pin plate, this becomes an assembly. A pin plate assembly. A sun gear. It's got a bushing. Must be an assembly. This side has a spline in it. Drive pinion shaft. Fits right in there. What could fit in that bushing? Engine drive pinion shaft. The tip goes right in that bushing. If you turn the engine drive pinion shaft, it does not turn the sun gear. It was done to conserve space inside the chassis and to align these three components. Sun gear. Orbit gear. Pretty wild color. Two step gear. No bushing. It is a part. Orbit gear bushing. Together they become an assembly. An orbit gear mount bolt. It's a left hand bolt, left hand thread bolt. Without the spacer ring, I can lift the gear off. The inner gear drives the sun gear. Let's see how that happens. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Orbit gears have timing marks. This one has a little timing mark that's been painted over. To time orbit gears to a sun gear, normally they throw all three timing marks straight to the center as they engage the gear. If you don't have timing marks, it's pretty, pretty easy to mess it up. What drives the orbit gear? Well, darn, if I could hold it out here and turn it, most people could understand a convention like this. One gear drives the next gear, reverses this gear's direction. This gear drives this gear, reverses its direction. I'm turning this gear by the camera clockwise and the sun gear is going clockwise. Here's where Ga Gravely does the real magic. And this is a big secret. They take this drive pinion shaft 
mount it right there. Now, when the engine turns, it still turns the orbit gear, and the orbit gear turns the sun gear. But the engine is turning at a different speed than the sun gear. It's amazing. Let's see how that works in the model. Here we have our stripped down pin plate assembly in the model. This would be a fully assembled pin, pin plate assembly. A clutch cup, a ring gear, a gear cup. They're normally all together as a unit right here with the clutch sliding pins working the clutch cup. Let's see what happens here. I have the degree wheel set at one, the handles up in the air. Turn it one turn. Turn the input one turn. The output is a little better than a quarter. Drive pinion shaft two turns, almost three quarters. Drive pinion shaft three turns, a little past one. The total gear reduction between drive pinion shaft and pinion shaft is a little better than three to one. I have added the ring gear, but I also had to add the other two orbit gears. The ring gear sits on the orbit gears. Normally, the gear rear gear cups holds everything in alignment. I don't have that. So I got to have all three orbits in place. We know what happens when I hold the pin plate. When I hold the pin plate, just the orbits turn. Let's see what happens when I hold the gear cup. Well, golly, the orbits are turning, but they are forced to turn inside the ring gear, the locked ring gear. They are orbiting inside the ring gear. We're going to watch the degree wheel now. I am going to start with a review, hold the pin plate assembly, and watch just the orbits do the work. The ring gear is turning, but it's not doing anything. My throughput ratio was about 3 to 1 here. It was all done by the orbit gears. Let's try holding that ring gear still. We lock the clutch cup into high gear. Let's see what happens. Holy moly! Look at them go. My engine drive pinion shaft is turning the orbits, turning the sun gear, but since the orbits are working inside of a locked ring gear, they're forced to orbit. That drive is added to the pin plate. So we have kind of like two drives in one. We've got the throughput of the inner gears plus the additional movement of the pin plate. Let's see what the ratio is. Handles up, one is up. One turn, half turn of the output. Two turns, full turn of the output. 
with the ring gear locked you have a two to one gear ratio. Let's see that neutral again now that we have this all assembly. Neutral is going to be just about non-existent with a planetary assembly because the clutch cup rides right here and it's always dragging on something. What's going to happen with these two? Well, hopefully they're just going to spin under the clutch cup and nothing happens.